his shooting ability when he gets it lined up it's going to count green well, you have the line front end of the one and one this time in a few weeks and that gives head coach nato a lot of options because in this versatile back to griffin yes there you thomas driving left side denied Wagi. Rylan Griffin. Perfectly placed to Wagi. And the basketball back to Moorhead State. Quickly laid them. And a foul. Yeah, Estrada has literally gone coast to coast and now taking his talents to the south. Little out of control. That's taken away by Diabati. Understand that Isaiah Swope has a tremendous ability, was able to get in the transfer portal, get a prolific score on his roster, and he has answered the bell in the, the very beginning of this season. Wagi maneuvering, beautiful. Estrada. Can't get it to go. And it's out of bounds. Off of Indiana State. Looking for it. Swope got Nelson in the air. He'll drive. Shot no good. Estrada, beautiful move, beautiful take. Estrada feeds it down low to Wagi. Estrada couldn't get the finish, but Wagi is there on the glass. That's blocked by Wagi. Outstanding, and he's sitting down on D. Again, taking on Conwell. Good defense. They got away with a foul on that one. Lost his verticality. There goes Sears all the way. And Mark Sears. Excellent job in transition. Getting back and loading up in the paint to keep Alabama from getting easy baskets and then showing bodies. There's an e Sears. Loggy. This team speeded up, speeded up. And conversely, South Alabama's doing an outstanding job at playing at the pace that they want to play. Griffin with another. Millender scored a moment ago. A turnover. Wagi with the steal. Griffin connects. Outstanding. Stays with Alabama. Alabama very fortunate. Cosby with a third. Over 13 minutes to go. Cosby can connect there. Fight for the basketball. Still loose on the floor and finally tied up. The possession arrow will favor the Crimson Tide. Good effort. Walters to Wagi. Left or up. Shot clock winding down. Diabati had the deflection. And they connect. Definitely a drought for South Alabama. Gator with so much talent. Good to see him get one drop. Jaron Stevenson to Wagi. Arm South Alabama. We talk about inconsistencies that this team has just had. The opener of the season. Uh, unexpected performance against Mobile. Dropping it from the beginning to the end. The Cosby Show. Cosby right to Wagi. Nice. Wildcats and a part of two championship teams for the Kentucky Wildcats. Offensive foul. Alabama already with three turnovers in this half, but they force one there. Wagi taking it himself, and he's fouled. And roller and finisher around the basket as he gets more, more healthy. Sears taking it down the left sideline. Sears whips a pass inside. Wagi lays it in for two. The defense came to Mark Sears, and understandably so. He's been one of the Looking, gets it in Sears. Sears working into the paint. Backs it out. Now gives it off to Estrada. Steps into a three. No good. Rebound. Fault for Wagi. Nearly took it away, and he did. Wagi, nice pass inside. Estrada missed the layup. Nelson is there. Had it blocked, but he is fouled. Second on this team in scoring. 
this opportunity. He's pushing pace again. Great job by Oregon to get back a transition defense. Little Alabama down. Now pass in rhythm and a finish. Tracy. Turns around, sent away. McGee in space, hands it off. Over 90 seconds of basketball. Outstanding transition look. Nelson finishes. Trevard stepping up and scoring in this game as we expected he needed to. Oregon five is of their last gonna... six. Oregon three of their last three. The offensive Palooza continues here with Estrada. He steps back, drilled it. It's an Alabama team that has really been scoring and one scoop to the hoop. And one. The SEC averaging 20 a game. He has not scored. And what pace of how Alabama likes to play. Loose ball, wow. saved by Estrada. And they get it up ahead, and Sears. You know, a lot of times, the difference between winning and losing teams are the players who are willing to sacrifice their body and get on the floor for loose balls. And there you had on that last possession, two out. ACC SEC Challenge, John Chomby, Jay Williams, Angel Gray here in Tuscaloosa. Sears, good feed inside, and he found Boggy. The rim. That was on Dominguez. That's his second. Not even 90 seconds in. Off another steal. Wagi. And now Sears penetrating and foul. Arkansas, people raved about his strength. Bolton was the call, no foul. Or thought maybe there was a whistle at some point. Get... Griffin back on the floor, feeding the big fella. Doubling up Arkansas State. Hicks will back down Griffin. Sears gets it back. <laughs> High ball screen for Sears. Off the hesitation. Love, love his patience in the lane. McGee collects it. Off the drop. Four points tonight. Noah Clowney. I think Miller, there was no surprise there with, with eight. Sears against Butler. Muscles one up there. All in there and then have a guard in there. Yes, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's in high. They also recorded against Indiana State earlier this year. And the block. Wagi skied for that one. And a steal by Estrada. Sears. He's coming downhill to get the block. Defense turns into offense. Okay, it gets you out into the lanes, and these guys, when they see this happen right here, they get up. It'll get right. The body, no. And Wagi put two free throws coming. And coming up Saturday, don't. Has three so far tonight, off the mark there. And behind the back, Wagi. Shot clock is off, tied. Can Edie play. He's got 90 or so people here, Edie. That jumper is no good for Braden Smith. And down on the ground, Edie fighting for it. And here comes Alabama. It's a scrappy Alabama team. Ryland Griffin off to Nelson. Off a pass fake, and he drills it. Through. Three of eight coming into the day on the season. Kind of a get-right game for him against Iowa. You know that Alabama's defense is going to really focus on Edie. They're giving up that shot, and Trey Kaufman run making them pay for it. A little two-man game and a foul. Four minutes. I believe it was a career high. Is it not? It was. 
back from Nick Kringle. And honestly, Bama here, because of Charles Bediaco, he's not on the team anymore, obviously. Now 8-1 and one off that loss to Northwestern back last week, a couple of, you know, a week and a half ago. And there's a three for Nelson, and that's Cat at that midline. There's Mark Sears, the transfer from Ohio, playing with Wahi, and now back to Sears. And then whoever Purdue has played, Edie has put everyone in foul trouble. That's just a bad pass. By Fletcher. We got a uh, Charles Oakley and Lambeer. The 90s Knicks are out here. That's a line drive three for Wastrada. Kick to the corner. That's no good. Stevenson off the redirect. Picked up by Reitzel. And he's got it. On the drive and kick. Got it up top. Rylan Griffin, no sir. Offensive rebound. Set it up. Reitzel for three. ED, nice help from Nelson that time, trying it loose. Boy, he just never looked comfortable. Nice play by Nelson to crash down and now run the floor. With a little bit off the fingertips to reset. He just wanted a little bit more. What a play by Edie. Stevenson ball fed. Edie comes to help and that's two and a foul. He lost it. Out to Jones from Smith. And Jones misses a three. Play to try to Man. pry that thing loose by Smith. There, uh, there's like a Ric Flair figure four situation. <laughs> In traffic, found Griffin on the kick out. Rights over the tie. No, sir. And a foul is going to go against. To two Alabama, Ryland Griffin, time ticking away. Estrada swooping in, wraps a pass around to get to and a foul. Foggy. Oh. That's that they're used to taking at times. Threes and layups are ideal for both of these teams, and now that's taken away by Wagi. Hulk Brenner takes him to the rim, and they will get a whistle. And by the way, it's a phrase that officials just don't like just in case you're you know. looking for that open three on the step back that sears front iron rebound smacked down to the ground Wagi rings it off the leg of isaac trout that's great hustle that, that's what you're going to have to do if you're alabama he needs to provide it's sort of the six man. yeah that's, that's nice insight <laughs> oh the lob and Wagi finishes halfway there already today that jumper won't fall. Wagi displaced a Creighton player. Cosby misses right on the doorstep. Another chance for Alabama and Cosby. He scoops it up and in and ties the game again. It's an excellent offseason pickup. Estrada in transition. Misses the pull up. Good work on the glass by Wagi. Missed the first time and the second, but he's fouled. And most hair for this one. Wagi, good free throw shot. That was a special move last year. Estrada puts it on the floor. Now to the corner and Nelson. Too strong on the three. Great work again by Wagee on the offensive glass. Alabama's met that challenge early here. Larson with the block. An improved defender. And then knocked out of bounds by Bama. Ball gets free underneath, but a great recovery by Wagee to get the block. Nelson in transition, drives, and count it. Ballo commits the goaltending violation on the season. In transition, they lose Grant Nelson, but he can't knock down the three. He's been struggling out there. Waukee keeps it alive, though. Estrada will try it and hit it. 9 nothing Alabama. Nice find. The slam by Waukee. Great pass by Ryland Griffin. Four steals for Kylan Boswell. Entry pass to Ballo to start the second half, and it's a turnover by Arizona, the 10th. Ballo looking for the high-low. Instead, walks into a jumper that's rejected. Second time, he's been blocked. Wagi in transition, missed the layup. And then a foul call on Estrada. Three from Nelson. In and out that time. Strong offensive rebound, though, by Wagi. Now Nelson driving, went to throw it down, had it blocked. Wagee gets it back and is fouled. Will be at UCLA Friday night. Now will the Bruins show up? It's been a struggle for them. They lost at home last night.
Kelsey's in a lot of threes today. If you like that kind of basketball, that's what we got. Yeah, typically teams want to try to slow Alabama down, but Eastern Kentucky says, look, we got to be who we are. Drop inside of the friendly bounce while he can try to get yourself to the free throw line. Moreno again, this time off the front of the rim. Yeah, Dan, curious to see what Brent Nelson's game looks like in SEC play. We know he can shoot the three. He can do some other things for you, but he's going to be challenged inside at times. And on cue. And yeah, the talk of the conference right now, the turnaround by Ole Miss, undefeated, ranked in the top 25. You and I were talking about South Carolina off to an 11-1 start. How about the block? And a late whistle while he pinned it against the backboard. The free throws coming. Wagi looking like what I do wrong. All I did was pin it against the backboard. Didn't look like much of a foul. That's the first time I've heard that one, but well played. <laughs> Grant Nelson, a little high, low inside. And now Mark Sears. Poked away back to Griffin. And the dump off. I do a heat check with a contested three. He says, no, I'm going to put the ball on the deck, draw two defenders, keep my head up. Nice pass. And Blanton's pass picked off, intercepted by Estrada. Two on one, here's the lob and the finish. Emma, but they will shoot a lot of threes. And there's a turnover forced by the Crimson Tide defense. Games, you'll see that the intensity of those games is much different than the quad two, quad three, quad four South game. Whoa, Waggy! I'm in the ladder. Diabati. Nice feed to Wagi. Great pass. Diabati. Floater. And Wagi collects the rebound and then throws it off of Sutherland. Birmingham as we get to under a minute. Cosby, the drive, the give. Wagi down low. Gets Alabama to the century mark. Aaron Estrada, fifth-year senior, the transfer in, can't get it to go. That rebound to Wagi. Oh, Mark Sears, the left-handed shooting percentage, just 30% from behind the arc on the year. If they can get him up to upper 30s, maybe even to the 40s, it'll be a whole different monster for Vanderbilt. But speaking of monsters, Grant Nelson, the 6'11". Sears, catch and shoot, too strong. A third opportunity. Wagi keeps it alive, kicks it. Tolu Smith. And another collision. Offensive foul on Tolu Smith. Here's how you play it if you're a big man. Let him bring it in, take it in the chest. Oof, that's it. <laughs> Into Smith, double. And Walters gets the block. I don't think Smith had control of that ball when he took up as a good pass by Davis. How about Wagi going the distance? Wow. 6'10", 235, looking like a point guard. And Sears with pretty, five points. Pretty vital start out of the locker room by this Bulldog squad. Estrada cuts. Loose ball. Wagi throws it down. Guarding college basketball, Ziegler. And maybe the best defensive five guy in college basketball, Adu. He's playing that well. And that was a really pretty play between Sears, who then dumped it off to Mohamed Wege, who laid it up and in off the window. It's the side of the glass, and now Auburn comes the other way. Johnson, a bounce pass, a terrible one, a turnover. And here comes Bama the other direction. Bama to inbound it, Estrada from the baseline, gets it into Waki, lays it up and in for two. Confusion there by the Tigers, and a nice read by Estrada to Waki. In transition, it's Auburn, Bacon, Baker, Mazzara, excuse me, missed the layup. Ball stripped away and stolen here. Spins past the defender. Sears, deep ball, too strong. Rebound, and a foul is going to be whistled on the Auburn Tigers. Free throw try, the front end of a one and one Waki hits this with O'Brien. Big fella's a good free throw shooter. He's at 77% coming into the ball game, and now over 78 with that make. 
UNC's best free throw shooting team will get there here. Yeah, one of the best in the SEC at it. Good cut, and nobody there to protect the rim on the finish from Mark Sears. Is the worst to ever win a national championship. That's how important that number is. 11 against LSU, but that game winner mm. to pull it out here in this building, playing with some confidence. And there is a three from Estrada. He was really close to the line, so the officials will check. And that's what Hill can do for you, make plays for others. Send this to the bench with his third personal foul. One of two. Now onto the right circle, it's Moore. Back to Davis again. Knocked away, stolen. Wagi to the rack for the flush. Muhammad Wagi, a great steal. Anticipated the pass and got the finish. Great anticipation. Bulldogs, here's Matthews, a dribble to his right. Picks it up, throws into the low post to Smith. Smith trying to back his way down. Defended by Wagi, poked away by Muhammad. Here comes Bama the other way. We got numbers. Sears front court. Sears kicking it right side over to Walters. In the corner, Stevenson, three, bottom. And coach, the freshman is growing up. Great ball movement, great ball movement. Stevenson left of the circle, a dribble to his right. Skip pass goes over to Sears on the wing. Sears looking, finds Wagi at the elbow, gets into the paint, kicks into the corner, right, so a bounce pass inside. Wagi lays it in. And Muhammad, a nice start on both ends of the floor. He's looking on the low block, little shot flipped up and missed by Jones. Scramble, somehow Jones had it back and then loses it. Here's Wagi with it in the open floor. Going down the lane, kicks it to Walters on the wing spot. A three short in the rebound. Driving his bell, working against Diabati. Leans in, had it blocked. Scr Jeffries looking into the low post, gives it off to Bell. Bell trying to back down, offensive foul. Muhammad Wagi taking his second charge of this first half. Corner. Back to Matthews, down low to Smith. Spinning baseline, lays it up, knocked away, but into the hands of Jones. He loses it out of bounds, but they set it off. Onto the wing to Moore, and then stolen away. Wagi to the rack. Wagi is doing a great job of showing on the ball screens, being very active with his hands and his feet. It's now on Wagi. You got both he and Nelson with four fouls, but Muhammad, uh, I'll get it out of my mouth in a minute. Can't spit it out. Diabati will check in for Alabama, and he's had a really nice game for the Crimson Tide. With seven points, four boards, and a couple of assists, and a block. Particular have been such a challenge for the high-ranked teams. Griffin, floater, no good. Rebound underneath, thrown back up, and we'll have... What do you think Auburn learned from their first game about how to defend? Game that I can remember in a long time. I'm struggling to hear you. That's how loud it is in Neville Arena. Bumped by Garcia, goes through him, flips it up, oh. no good. Rebound tipped into the hands of Estrada. Aaron kicks it back to Waki in the corner, to Sears. Three ball by Mark Sears. Knocking down another one, 16 first half points. The pass was able to get through for the easy dunk for the Gators. Stevenson trying to shake free, Kent gives it off to Diabati. He will flip it to Griffin. Ryland driving, stopping, throwing it all the way left side. Stevenson three ball is going to be short. Rebounded by Wagi, had it stripped, scramble on the deck. Stevenson first to the floor, and I think they'll call a foul on the Gators. They're away from Flanagan, and with 15-27 to go, Bama's got the ball up five. That's four turnovers for the Rebels since halftime. Muhammad Wagi into the game, but Ryland Griffin knocks down another one from deep. Another bank first three, and the odds are catching up for us. A missed opportunity for Alabama. Grant Nelson taking the ball to the basket, just lost it going up. Six-point lead for Alabama with the ball. Estrada near side three, bottom. They are red, smoking, hot from deep. Alabama hits another one and leads it by nine. Around the rim, not draw two defenders and have a wide-open three-point shooter. Jaron Stevenson with a corner three won't go. Alabama five for 16 from three in this game. Good offensive rebound by Wagi there. Got an extra possession. And they pay it off with a Mark Sears three. An easy. We have 13 minutes left. We have to play so hard, and we have to get tougher, tougher, tougher. 15 of Florida's 65 points have come in transition. Trying to put together a monster win. Florida's last 20-point win against a top 25 opponent came in January of 21 against number six Tennessee. Estrada, great effort. <laughs> Thank you.
Florida's outscored Alabama by nine in the second half. Clayton tracks it down behind the back save. And now Pullen on his way in. Empty. Sears off the handoff. Fires for three. Griffin kept it alive. And a tried pass goes to Diabati. Cut off. Gives it back to Wagi. Now to Reitzel. Let's fly from deep. Halfway down. Popped out. And then fell back through. Sit into the corner to Burnham. He'll drive underneath. He stops. He spins. Two, one. Shot blocked. Buzzer sounds. What a half by the Crimson Tide. Takes a three. Steps to the side. Shoots a three. And I'm shocked he didn't make it. Inside Waukee. Rebounds the miss and lays it in. But the Cougars were able to keep possession and work to the other end. Sears on the drive. Hands it off. Waukee the flush. Foster. Grant Foster driving left. Stopping. Spinning right. Putting it up. Having it blocked. And it's going to pop out of the basket after the deflection. It did a jump ball. Almost walked. Gave it up to Waukee. Back now to Griffin. Ryland driving, stepping through. Tough runner would go, but he got fouled. Tight spot, just couldn't grab the ball. Now here's Sears the other way to Nelson. Pivots, looks, hands it off to Sears. Sears working left side. Goes to his right. Gives it out now to Griffin. Ryland drives in. Tough shot off the glass and in. But the bad bounce for Bama winds up in the hands of Baycott. Tide runs the other way. The lob, the layup, missed. The tip claimed by Wagi. Gives it off to Griffin who lays it in for two. 341. Griffin the other way for Bama. Trying to shake free. Plays off the screen. Let's it go for three. Bottom. He's red. Smoking hot. Ryland Griffin. He's got 15 first half points. And Bama leads it 44-43. And that very east summit point blank range. Clark throwing it down low into the post to R.J. Godfrey. Trying to post up on Wagi. Spins. Has it blocked out of bounds. Great play. Muhammad Wagi able to knock it out of bounds. 28 was tough for Alabama to stop in matchup number one between the Tide and the Tigers in Tuscaloosa. Low to his left. Now he lets it fly from deep. That one rolls off. Tip Waggy, no. Rebounded the miss. Had it stripped. They go to the deck. There's a tie-up and a reach-in foul.